Hi there. Okay, we've got another interview. Do you guys want to know who Joe Hildebrand is? Here, I'll, I'll answer your questions. He's her attorney. He can't answer them. My name's Adam Paul Steed. And if you guys want to know who Jody Hildebrand is, I'll, t I'll answer tons of questions about her. I know my dad. Hey, dad, come here. Come, come here. Come here. My dad has a file at home that's probably about 2,500 pages of records from court filings and, and just huge amount of documentation about Jody Hildebrand that's, that we will share with everybody. I want you to know the same court that uh, has ordered us not to share these documents is, is covering up this racket that Jody Hildebrand had with the Mormon Church in the 4th District, Utah County Court. She abused my children the same way, almost. Even in a different type of abuse, it's, I think it's, it could be argued worse. And that was 15 years ago. And I, I fought against Jody Hildebrandt with my family and everybody to stop this monster of a lady. And Jody went after me. She went after me, destroyed my life in the craziest way you could ever think of possible. Like, I was a victim of sexual abuse at Boy Scouts of America, Camp Little Lemhi in Idaho. My dad helped us stop a predator. You can watch, read it in the national press and everything. We changed the laws of sexual abuse so victims could come forward. We got rid of the criminal and civil statute limitations. The Mormon church knew who we were. And Elder Helam, Richard G. Helam, was like next, he was the president of the first quorum of the 70, the top probably executive functioning leader of the whole Mormon church. And he sat with Jody Hildebrandt as they destroyed my life in this court racket, like they've destroyed countless other people's lives. And they even had the gall to order my Mormon stories thing where I brought some documentation off the internet saying that they didn't want me to say bad things to my children or in front of the children about my ex-wife. Well, if you're accused of sexual abuse by Jody Hildebrandt, and if your ex-wife performed a, a falsification of sexual abuse, the professionals looked at the documentation and said, this is sexual abuse. This is sexual abuse. We have documentation for sexual abuse of my children by Jody Hildebrandt and my ex-wife. And you know, this stuff was uh, redacted in the Doppel paperwork. It was so horrible that it was redacted. And the courts just recently said, I couldn't talk about my family or my ex-wife or anything. But if you have children, if your children were trained to think that your dad was sexual, a predator, and a monster. So, so I'm sorry, we, we came in a little bit late. Why is it that you wanted to be here? Okay, so there are tons. And it's not jo Jody Hildebrandt is the tip of the iceberg. The Mormon church was doing this operation where they were using religious beliefs and they were using ethical therapists to enforce them. And it was an area of exploitation. And it was a horrific area. It was exploitation because it created horrible divorces that should have been normal divorces. We're talking about hundreds and thousands of families going through these courts. And Jody was like an icon, her doctor. Okay, so here's the problem. Everybody. Today, it sounds like it was a little bit of like justice for you too. Oh, Jody. Yeah. That's Ruby, easy, Ruby easy. Frank. When I saw Ruby Frank, I saw my ex-wife sitting there saying the exact same thing that my, my ex-wife would have said the exact same thing. Ruby Frankie said today. And a lot of other women would have said the same thing. You have no idea how many victims are out there that are, their, their, their minds have been messed up so much with this. But the, the, the prosecutor said that um, he said that the children uh, thought it was their fault. All of the adult men think it's their fault. All of the women think it's their fault. I have had countless emails and messages. Sorry, your... I'm Adam Paul Steed. I was, I'm the guy that got Jody's license from Doppel removed. Well, my dad and mom get the credit. But, uh, you know, and, and, and they said that the Doppel department said we have evidence here for criminal charges against Jody. This is 13 years ago. It's identical stuff. So I almost like fell over in the courtroom when I heard Jody say that she loved those children. Jody doesn't love children. Jody's like Ted Bundy. In fact, one time I was in a, in a, in a. Do you feel that she should have a longer sentence than jo Jody? Here's the problem. Somebody hits a person and runs that's like two variables a car and someone running they catch him jody's got like 30 variables including a huge issue with the mormon church racketing i mean they're all ducking low and covering in fact i looked at an email and i can show this to you guys this is factual evidence where the it should have been a neutral person in the courts kelly uh kelly peterson the guardian at litem when they were punishing me in the family custody courts he said that my act to turn jody hildebrand in was an act of vengeance 
and they took my kids away from me because I performed an act of vengeance. That's in the, this court was sitting there completely in bed with Jody. They've done it. I talked to Doug Thayer's daughter. She saw relations, I mean, these aggressive attorneys working with Jody, Commissioner Patton. These, all these people know about Jody. The BYU Honor Code Office did a, before they kicked me out of school for, for being a whistleblower and child abuse. I guess Jody went and and told them I was the most dangerous man she'd ever met in her lifetime. She she has we have hundreds of pages of this stuff of Jody Hildebrandt working with Chop Church leaders to dispel me. I got kicked out of school my senior year. The, this lady uh, we've got all this documentation of how she talks, how she walks. Now here's what I do want to say. I don't like Ruby Frankie, but I don't know her. I just think you have to be a selfish person to fall for Jody's stuff. You, you got she's got a certain kind of carrot that gets certain kind of people. But Ruby Frankie would have never done any of this stuff if Jody Hildebrandt hadn't been the mastermind and just completely, completely created this. Ruby Frankie's not dangerous in the sense she's not going to go out and do this to more kids, but Jody Hildebrandt will. When we put her, when we went to Doppel and we, we went to Doppel, Doppel ordered her to go through all this ethical stuff. She went through the whole thing with shining colors and she turned around and did the same stuff again. I mean, even when she was teaching us that we were safe to come to her and stuff, she was, she was abusing children at the same time with one hand and and, do, and teaching a godliness with another so hand. What's her motivation? Uh, Jody Hildebrandt had a weird relationship with my ex-wife. It was a dual relationship. It was bordering sexual in nature. I mean, it she went through different women that made her look powerful and important. My ex-wife's dad was at Area 70 in the Mormon church. And Jody Hildebrandt wanted uh, power and, and, but well, I know her instincts when you're in a pain and suffering, when you talk about something and she finds a way to hurt you, it makes her blush. It makes her feel euphoric. I've seen her act that way and look that way in the worst of circumstances. So I always compare Jody Hildebrandt to Ted Bundy because nobody can figure out why a serial killer would kill people. Jody Hildebrandt, she she grows off of people's pain and destruction. And when she sat there and said she loved those kids, I almost fell out of my chair. The only thing she, her, her version of loving children is find a way to make them hurt more than anything possible. It's like an energy she feeds off of. Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't, it's a little traumatic for me. So if I monologue, I'm sorry. Does anybody have a question that Cover a lot, cover a lot. We got a ton of documentation. So this, this, those, that fourth district court's got to be ducking their heads right now because uh, I do want to say something. There's, there's countless children out there that have been raised to believe their fathers are predators because of Jody Hildebrandt. And the fourth district court and other courts involved don't want to show they made mistakes. So who's going to help those children? Like who's going to help them? Like this, this is a, a court public opinion. People need to find out the truth to go help all these children and help all these people come forward. And the fact that the court tried to silence me for being on the front edge of coming forward is just an example of how the same notorious people in power back then that allowed Jody to do all this stuff are alive and thriving today. And if you give a damn about our children, you got to do the same thing I do and fight for what's true. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you, Adam. That was Adam Steed.